There's two things that feel super bad in RuneScape. Accidentally dropping a 95 Adrenaline before you start a fight, and having to grind out Shattered Worlds for one of the best mobility abilities in the game. Today, that was changed. I'm Rayo, and let's get into it. Before we get started, make sure to check the video description for links to my Twitch and my Discord channel where you can get notified of any new video releases, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon. If you haven't read the front page or checked out the brand new quest Succession, then I'm here to let you know that as of today, with the completion of the latest quest, Jagex has updated the Infernal Puzzle Box with the ability to be added to your tool belt, allowing you to have a permanent Adrenaline Stall passive. You no longer need the Adrenaline Urn or the Puzzle Box in your inventory, nor do you need to stall abilities or use up precious Monolith energy to maintain your Adrenaline. All gained Adrenaline is permanently yours to keep, that is, until you use it of course. With this change, they've instead updated the Persistent Rage Relic from stalling your Adrenaline to now giving you 5% Adrenaline every 2 ticks outside of combat. This may sound incredibly strong, but what are the practical uses for it? The first things that come to my mind were Elite Dungeons, which, after some thought, wouldn't be the most practical use due to virtually always being in combat, even when moving between mobs. Where I can see this being very useful is instance boss content, such as God Wars Dungeon 1 and 2, where there's downtime between boss respawns, or any sort of PVM activity that allows you to get fully out of combat. This would be very nice for AFK in God Wars Dungeon 2, as having enough adrenaline makes it so your rotations are more consistent from kill to kill. This is niche use, but usable nonetheless. If you have any other ideas of where this could be used, definitely let me know down in the comments. The quest also saw an update to the Bladed Dive ability, which is an upgrade to what is now known as Dive. Dive functions the same way Bladed Dive functions, minus the damage, but it doesn't require dual wield weapons, grinding out a few hours of the Shattered Worlds minigame, and the requirement is 30 agility versus 65 attack. With these changes, this makes it so mage and range players free up at least one additional inventory slot from not needing a main hand, or two slots if you don't need the enhanced Excalibur passive effect, which also means that you no longer need to keybind a bladed dive switch into your preset. This makes for more fluid gameplay and one less switch to worry about. Another change within this update was that the requirement of surge and escape changed from 30 magic and range to also be 30 agility. This is a sensible change in my opinion, as it gives more purpose to the early agility levels and gives non-combat skillers mobility options, but the downside to this change is that F2P no longer has access to surge or escape. To me, this seems like an unintentional side effect of the update. Whether or not Jagex reverts that change though, we'll have to see. And that's all I have for you today guys. This was a very short video I know, but these two updates brought some major quality of life to PVM. So if you needed a push to complete the new quest to unlock these changes, this is that push. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and drop a comment letting me know what your thoughts are on this update. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more content, follow me over on Twitch, and join my Discord to get notified of any new video releases and Twitch streams. Thank you all so much for watching, I'm Rayo, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.